What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's Matthew Schnoes, the Gold Crease Guardian. We're in the summer, we're playing drop-in. Let's get right to it. Okay, lots of fun to get later in the summer here. We usually get more guys showing up to these skates which is always good. It gets us a little bit more excitement, a little bit more um, oomph for some of the guys, uh, which is which is a lot of fun. Makes the game more exciting. Always a lot of scoring chances in these, which is always good. Um, I say that, but the first like 10 minutes of this, I didn't really see much action. So that was really all that happened after, after they kind of dumped it in on me to start. And they score right away on the first shot. Uh, that you know, I've seen in a long time. I actually expected him to shoot this puck a lot sooner. It kind of comes out of the middle. I slide over looking for the quick shot. He just goes against the grain. Good on him to kind of read my body language and go against me there. I was kind of looking for him to go short side high. And the breakaway, he does go glove side high. Um, just rings it off the back bar. Really nice tuck. I'm a little slow reacting. But I mean, it's a good finish right over my kind of glove, hand, and shoulder. So, you know, good, but I would have probably liked to have at least gotten a piece of it. sauce that puck into the neutral zone. Figured I didn't have a whole lot of pressure for it, so I could take my time a little bit. Really nice staying with this puck, even if it doesn't get on net. I'm really happy with that. And little little tussle for space in front. Just a good, solid seal on that shot from the point. That's all you really want there, not letting anything through you. Ooh, he had me fooled there. And I whiffed. Um, that stick is broken, so that doesn't help. It helped there though. <laughs> it's not broken enough to make a difference on a play like this coming over. Really nice stop with the stick, get it right under my body. Um, but yeah, that stick is very broken. So firing that puck out, maybe not my best play. A uh, good save after that one too. These next two are really nice. Just one timer in front, good stop on the uh, net drive and then a breakaway stop that I just I'm on my feet for really really patient make that save control it and then he kind of flips it off my head out of play really you know good bounce back after two goals early where I wasn't seeing a ton of shots so you know really happy with it uh, settled in very very nicely to this skate and it's a good thing too because there have been a lot of like turnovers and breakaways, which I mean, it's drop in, it's five on five. This this is the kind of stuff that happens in these skates. And it always makes it a lot of fun because it pushes me to kind of find a way to, to make some saves and just react without thinking too much. I'm gonna pickpocket and then just takes a long time, hits the post, then, that one might have hit a post. I'm not even sure how he missed that one. So two chances right in a row. And a third going across the, the net there where he just misses the net. That's three straight plays were just really good chances. And then this one, bouncing off of me. I'm lucky that puck's on end because he probably buries that if it's not. Uh -huh. Came through the screen. I just didn't really control it. And I was, I was lucky that it was bouncing. Thank goodness. And now we've got just whack-a-mole here trying to get this puck to the front. Good stops there. This is a really nice, simple play here. Coming out, making a save there, and then just making myself stay behind that puck. Get my body nice and upright, my hands out so he can't really go around me. Um, just really, really nice. And then the breakaway, two more stops. Again, very controlled, very simple. Love a hop step into a save and just controlling that one timer. I mean, making lots of simple, simple saves here, which is, you know, where I want to get my game, especially when I end up playing a, a five on five like this, another one going across the ice in position. 
I've been talking about this a little bit. I've done a couple of uh, private lessons recently with some goalies that I, I've been coaching, and I'll get back to that in a second. This is uh, about as unlucky as it gets. I never play this puck. I always cover this puck. I didn't think anyone was there, so I didn't think it was going to be a problem. Right off my defenseman's foot and into the net. Ah, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? You know, that that's <laughs> that's always fun. You gotta love it when that puck just kind of finds a way into your net when you did what you thought was everything right. Moral of the story, cover the puck. <laughs> um, like I was saying before that though, I've done a couple of uh, uh, private lessons with some goalies, just coaching again recently, and one of the things that I've tried to emphasize is positioning. The more you can get into position early, the better off you are. If you find yourself in position, on your feet, beating the puck, you're going to make the save most times. So that's really kind of what I'm trying to do in this skate here. And you can see me on my feet very often, beating plays, doing those little things. And then when I'm not, you make a nice save like that, coming across the net, just making that stop with good, uh, good body positioning because I, I seal the bottom of the ice up and he wasn't able to elevate. So really, really nice save. She gotta be a Chinese spy dog. Oh, this one, so this one's interesting. I did not see this guy in front of the net as the threat. I saw the back door guy as the threat. Uh, I thought my defenseman was gonna get that stick tied up and he just couldn't in time. So he tips it right through my body. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good finish by that guy. I just didn't quite, register him as the threat in that situation and that's kind of on me i got i gotta be able to seal that up this one uh hard drive to the net he's a left-handed shot he started to come to the backhand and i just bit hard a little bit more patience and i make that save um good flip over my blocker but again just that's a little bit of uh trying to beat him there because he's a good player he loves to shoot the puck he's a good goal scorer so I was just trying to beat him to his backhand and didn't need to. Paddle down burns me here. Um, puck kind of in the feet of a couple players. I think he's gonna turn and shoot. So I've got that paddle on the ice. It's not really the wrong decision, but it sets my blocker up where I can't recover when it goes back the other way. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure how I would have played that one differently because I wanted to seal the ice and I wanted to, to be there. So that's a tough play. I'd have to really spend some time on that one. Good two saves and a good one. Two really good saves here. Um, puck goes across the crease. It actually gets deflected right to his stick. Good tie up on the defenseman. Number one with my toe. Number two, it bounces up over my defenseman. Um, that's unlucky. I recover. I drop down to seal because I know he's a shooter. I know he's looking to shoot and he just goes under my glove. Um, that's something that I'll touch a little bit more on in the next video, I think, is my glove positioning and how it's facing. It's leading to some interesting things that I think I might want to address. But um, yeah, sometimes glove positioning is, is tricky. And on a shot like that, it just he makes a good shot from in through a screen. So good goal. Getting a glove involved in this one finally. <laughs> Late in the skate. That's always good. Oof. Again, I'm set up to this guy in the, the high slot because he's a shooter. Drops back to him. He's got a lane. He's a shooter. I have no glove. That's, that's a little bit my fault for not looking. Catches me flat footed with the pass back door. Tap into the end of that. Pretty looking play. Um, I don't know if I feel like I should have had that or if it's just, you know. Good play by them, probably a little bit of both. Good save on the deflection in front. Just good positioning once again. Very, very standard, very simple. Kind of just keeping my body in control again right here, keeping my body in the right position to make that save is really what's gonna make a difference here. And I'm very, very happy to have you know, executed Again with this pass out that I make the save on it's just execution 
of body position. He doesn't really have anywhere to go when he touches it, so I've just got to be there uh, with my pad and my gloves. The second save when the pass across is just really nice uh, getting there and putting my body on the line. This one's funky. I, he tips it back way against the green, and actually, uh, I never get to that spot, which is hilarious. And I squeeze this one. Um, you can't see it because the camera at that end died because I was having some issues with it. Uh, the backup battery. But I had to squeeze my squeeze that one and get my glove behind me to freeze that puck. But good performance, really. Very, very happy. Yeah, like I said, really good performance there. Uh, just about a goal saved on that occasion. Pretty good, considering it's five on five dropping. Like I said, always tons of scoring chances in those, so it's always fun. Um, but yeah, really very happy with it. Good positioning. Like I said uh, during the video, I'm trying to really get to that point. That's where I'm gonna really, you know, feel good going into what's coming up with season starting and stuff like that. And really just in general, the better position you are, the more chance you have to make a save. So it sounds really simple, it sounds basic, but that's really what it comes down to. And it's why when I was coaching full time, I had such an emphasis on skating. It's why my goalie coaches growing up emphasized skating for me. Um, and it's why I think I do a good job playing, even when I'm not playing, you know, three, four times a week like I did when I was actually playing um just a good positional base a good skating base kind of keeps that that there so really that's that to me is always the key to playing some some good solid goaltending when you know you don't know what's coming out of the <laughs> out of the tank for you so really really nice i'm very excited with that skate hopefully the next one rolls into it and then the next one rolls there and i mean we're coming up on you know the season starting and having a couple of polar bears teams going and getting tons of content coming to the channel so i'm looking forward to that if you have not already please head down below hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when i'm uploading videos why don't you give this video a like too really really would appreciate that bumps the channel up a little bit also if you're interested in helping the channel there is merch down below in the comment section is the is the link to the aloha blooms art shop where the Gold Crease Guardian Collection is at. You can go ahead and order something there if you're interested. I would greatly appreciate it. So if you want to support the channel, that's another good way to do it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Really looking forward to getting the next video out to you guys next week. So I'll see you all then.